Hey guys, so this video is going to be my Alex and Ani bracelet collection. So if you don't know what Alex and Ani is, I'll leave a link down below to their website because I'm pretty sure they'll do a better job at explaining their company than I will. They are a jewelry company that started in, I believe it was Rhode Island, um, but definitely somewhere in the New England area. And they may, are most known for their bangle styles, which are pretty much the only style bracelet I have. So I'll show you that in a minute, but they make different kinds of bracelets. They also make necklaces rings um i want to say they have a few earrings but it's they're most known for their bangles um and they have necklaces and rings they make all of their well most of their bracelets i'm not sure all of them but definitely most of them they make out of recycled materials and they are all made here in the united states also each of their jewelry pieces have a meaning behind it so i'll explain that in a little bit but pretty much every bangle i'm not sure about their other pieces um but mostly pretty much all of their bracelets actually have a specific meaning behind it and so i'll explain more when i go through my collection but um like i said there's a link down below to their website where you can go look up their information yourself and i know that there are alex and Ani stores pretty much all over the united states they also sell in different department stores. I know Nordstrom sells them, um, Bloomingdale's has them, um, and then they also have some like discounted ones that you can find at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Saks off of Fifth, I think. So you can find discounted bracelets somewhere, um, but I'm not sure where you can get them if um, you are international. I'm not sure where they sell them in other countries outside of the US. But anyway, let's just get into my bracelets. So I keep my bracelets stored on this little bracelet jewelry holder, which I got at Michael's. And they say that it's better to keep your bracelets out on something like this and not piles on top of each other because they do tarnish very easily. They are recycled metals. And so they say that it's best to keep them on something like this just to help it not get tarnished as easily. Um, so I got mine at Michael's and yeah, I'm sure you can get these at other kinds of stores but this is the way i like to keep them okay after being interrupted for the third time while filming filming this video hopefully i can just finish it so anyway like i was saying also you can buy these cleaning cloths for them they're like reusable a lot of jewelry companies sell them i also have one for my tiffany's jewelry they just help kind of clean it up it doesn't take the tarnish away but it helps just clean it up and make it a little bit more shiny i'm gonna get into all the bracelets i have but i also have the cards that they came with and for pretty much all of them so i'm just gonna read off the card as i show you the bracelet so first we have my newest bracelet and i actually talked about this in my december favorites video and it is the christmas tree kindred cord bracelet and these are they don't really have any kind of meaning behind them i think at least the card doesn't say anything but it just says love token a keepsake a keepsake given or worn as a token of love and so it's just a little bracelet with a tie and they're a lot tighter than the regular bracelets and their uh, charms are a lot smaller but I really like this. It was a great everyday bracelet and I, like I mentioned in my December favorites, I wore this every single day and I really want to get more of these because I really like this style. I'm just the kind of person that likes dainty jewelry and so these are just perfect for me. So the first bracelet that I have here and my newest bangle is this one and it's the candy cane and it's in rose gold which is just so pretty i hope they make more rose gold bracelets because i i really hope they have a few like they had a few rose gold bracelets this holiday season and i really hope that now it's a thing <laughs> so i i don't know if i mentioned before but um they have gold and silver bangles i just happen to have gold that's the style i like more um but they also make silver but i'm really hoping they make rose gold now just because i really like the rose gold color but anyway this candy cane means cheer playful and sweet and this is a charity by design bracelet so they do make some bangles that when you buy it um a part of the money goes to a certain charity this one goes to give kids the world village um they had two other kind of christmas bracelets in with this collection kind of 
that are also charity by design. One was Toys for Tots and I can't remember the other one. I just personally liked this one and all three of them were great charities for kids. So, so yeah, I thought this one was really cute and I will definitely be wearing it a lot um, this upcoming holiday season. Next, we have a Disney Alex and Ani and I do have quite a few Disney ones because if you didn't know, I am obsessed with Disney. One is the Cinderella A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes one and this one says happiness, magic, and dream on the little card and these don't really have too much meaning behind them just because they are Disney and they don't have much meaning behind them um, but this one I this came out around the time the live-action Cinderella movie came out in March of 2015 it came out like about two years ago and I wanted this so badly because I just thought it was so beautiful and I do really love Cinderella when I went to Disney that June of 2015 they were sold out everywhere and they did not have them but when I went this um, September this um, past September they had them and so I decided to get it just because I've been wanting it for like a year and a half I really love it. It's so beautiful and I wear my Disney Alex and Ani bracelets most of the time um, I only wear about like three to four bracelets at a time and lately I've been going more towards my Disney ones So I'm really happy. I have this in my Disney collection next is another charity by design bracelet and this one is the unicorn and this means magic innocence and healing and this goes to the children's miracle network hospital so a children's hospital i'm not exactly sure i don't know much about that hospital i just love this bracelet i thought it was so cute and i don't know i just really really loved it i also loved it in silver but i have all um, gold bracelet so I just went with the gold for it but it's just so cute with like all the glitter and the unicorn I love like the pink on it another really cute bracelet that goes to a really nice cause and next we have a New York City one so it's called the New York City skyline and it means resilience energy and optimism and I got this because I if you guys didn't know I am from New York City I live in the New York City area and I was born in <laughs> New York City I love the city so much it's my home it's just it's just home to me and i wanted this bracelet just because i liked it and also it was a kind of treat for myself <laughs> i bought it for myself because i was just finished up with like school and something really hard in school so i was like you know what? i'm just gonna buy it for myself and i really like it a lot next we have probably my favorite bracelet in my collection right now and it is another disney one and it is the bell so i don't have a card for this i don't think it meant anything i don't even think it came with a card um, but i did get this in disney when i went in june of 2015 and bell is my favorite princess beauty and the beast is my favorite disney movie and so i really wanted this bracelet and like i said i wear my disney bracelets all the time so i wear this a lot every time i wear my Alex and Ani bracelets, I wear this Belle one. And they have another like Disney princess collection. So they have a Belle one in that and I am dying to get it. I really wanna get it soon. So now we have my last Disney Alex and Ani bracelet. And this one is Believing is just the beginning. And it's another one of the shiny bracelets. They have the two different styles. These shiny ones are more expensive and the other ones, if I didn't mention before, the bracelets range from around $28 to around, I don't know, they can go up to $100. Like this one, in particular was around 50 this one was about 40 or 38 i think 38 just because it's disney and this one this new york one was 28 dollars and the kindred cords are around 18 i think so they are pretty inexpensive if you think about it. there are jewelry pieces that are more expensive than this and not as nice so i think they are relatively inexpensive to compared to other things but anyway this one is i think it's like a tinkerbell one again i don't have a card for this just because it didn't really come with one and it just says believing is just the beginning and it's purple and i just thought it was so cute i love the saying i love the quote i, I love disney so i ordered this one off of the disney store website because with the disney bracelets you can only get them in a disney park or on the disney store website you can't get them on alex and ani website you can't get them in alex and ani stores you can't even get them in disney stores you have to get them in one of the disney parks so either in disney world or disneyland then i have one that is very tarnished and <laughs> probably needs to be cleaned it is the skeleton key and its meanings are power choice and liberation i don't know i just thought it was really cute i really like the look of skeleton keys and this one has a little like rhinestone on the end of it and yeah i don't know i just really like the look of skeleton keys and i just thought this one was really cute next we have this bracelet and it's the oyster and its meanings are truth rebirth and purity then i have the hummingbird and that means awakening healing and eternity and these two i got for 
kind of a specific reason so if you guys didn't know i am obsessed with the hunger games as you can see by my hunger games shelf behind me these two bracelets reminded me of the hunger games the hummingbird reminded me of a mockingjay and the oyster it's like a specific scene in catching fire to katniss and Peeta that just like a little pearl is relevant <laughs> and so i just got these because they reminded me of the hunger games and like that's the only reason i got them and that's what i really love about alex and Ani bracelets that although the bracelets have meanings like they come with meanings you make up you can also make up your own meanings for them so like these to me mean like the hunger games instead of you know awakening healing eternity like all of those so and you know you remember where you got them so like my disney bracelets the ones I got in the parks like are special to me because I got them on, you know, this Disney vacation where this happened or that vacation where that happened. And, you know, I got this one for Christmas, this one for my birthday. And there's like a, another story behind it. So that's what I really love about them. They're a, just kind of a different take on a charm bracelet. So my last bracelet that I have to show you, but my first bracelet that I got is the mermaid and it means femininity, love, and mystery. And this one is pretty and I like the meanings behind it, but I don't wear it as much just because the tail kind of catches on everything and it's just so annoying, but I do still really like it. So those are all of my Alex and Ani bracelets. I have 11 bracelets and I really hope to keep growing my collection. I do want to get a lot more of the Disney ones and like I said, I think my next one is definitely going to be the bell one from the uh words are powerful collection i think it's called i really love that one and the olaf one i really love the olaf one but yeah i really love alex and Ani bracelets and i really want to get more i wear them quite a bit and i love wearing them i like i said i like dainty jewelry like that and i just love the company i love the meanings behind each bracelet and not just the meanings they come with but the meanings that you give to them like i mentioned before it's just i love charm bracelets but i specifically like i really love these charm bracelets i just think they're a fun twist on a traditional charm bracelet and so i really like them and i know a lot of people find them you know annoying because they jingle a lot i don't mind um, I really like them. I only wear about three to four bracelets at a time, so it's not super annoying, but I just, I think they look better with at least two bracelets, so I wear at least two, so it's anywhere between two to four. Anyway, so I really love these bracelets a lot, and like I said, I hope to grow my collection, so I'll leave the link to their website down below, and I will also link any of the bracelets that I have if I can find them on their website or on the Disney website. I'll link those down below too in case you want to buy any specific ones that I have or want to read up about any specific ones that I have. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my channel for more. Give this video a like if you liked it or if you like Alex and Ani and subscribe to see more videos and also comment down below if you have any Alex and Ani bracelets or if you like Alex and Ani. Let me know what bracelets you have or that you want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.